Hey, what's up guys? It's Justin with Diamond King Baseball Training. Back at you again today with another quick little rant. Um, I get asked a lot about how to stand out at a showcase. So you're a high school player um, or you're maybe a, a late middle school or about to get into high school. You're starting to do these showcases, um, whether it be, you know, I've seen some travel tournaments that are like a showcase tournament or just a standard showcase. But what I'm going to be talking about is just your standard showcase. You're going to go somewhere, um, there's college scouts, there's professional scouts possibly, um, there's a lot of people watching. What do you think they're watching for? That's a good question. Um, typically at a showcase, you're going to run the 60, which is a 60 yard dash, kind of like football, but it's a 60 instead of a 40. Um, they're going to watch you throw from your position, whether it be you know, you're an infielder or outfielder or catcher. Um, they're going to watch you throw. Then you're going to take some batting practice. Typically, it's on a field. They like to see that trajectory of the ball. They like to see, you know, how you can go gap to gap, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then typically, in the ones I've went to, um, after you do those pretty much three basic things, then you'll go and possibly either play a game or get some live at bats against a pitcher so they can watch the pitchers. Um, and that's the key. They're watching the pitcher. Um, obviously, if you go out there and put together great at bats, you're going to stand out. But they're mainly watching those pitchers and how they're attacking hitters. So, how can you stand out? How can you prepare for a showcase? How can you get on someone's radar? Well, what do you think? I just told you what we're going to do at one. So, how can you really stand out? You can stand out by posting a great 60 time. Even if you're a big guy like myself, you can still impress people. You don't have to run the crazy fast 60s like these little speed demons are going to do. You know what I mean? But if you really practice in the months and weeks upcoming to that showcase and you work on some speed and agility drills, you work some sprints, you really bust it and try, you can improve your 60. Like I've spoken about in pretty much all my videos, we're, I'm all about working and putting in that work. So how do you get better? How do you get a little faster with running? You practice and you do agility drills, speed and agility drills. They really do pay big dividends. Um, I've seen it myself. I've done speed and agility programs and shaved, you know, maybe a half a second almost off of my 60 from when I started to when I finished it. So work those speed and agility drills. I'm going to be putting some up. Um, I, like I've said before, I just got to get somebody to come out and film me. So work those drills. If you can post a solid 60 time, you're going to stand out. Secondly, you're going to take some ground balls if you're an infielder or maybe some fly balls if you're an outfielder. So obviously, you know, you need to work on those. So as an infielder, you want soft hands. As an outfielder, you want to look very smooth. You want to read the ball well. You want to get behind the baseball and come through it with your catch and throw. And it's very smooth. It looks pretty. Same thing with infielders. You want to look pretty. You want to look smooth. That was a downfall for me. Um, I was more of a ended up playing first and a little bit of third. Um, and I never really focused and tried to be smooth. I was just catching the ball. And, and doing my thing. I, I didn't really work that much on my footwork to get in a great position. So that was a downfall for me. I should have worked on that. Um, then you're going to come up and throw. In order to really work on your arm strength, I've got another video. It's already posted about a throwing program. You need to be doing that. You need to be long tossing. That's how you're going to increase that arm strength, that arm conditioning. So if you can go out um, to a showcase and be sitting, I would say, upper 80s, low 90s. If you can get in that range, you're going to stand out, whether you're outfielder or infielder, because at this point, you're still young. You still have the ability to increase those things. You're still going to fill out. You're still going to get bigger. You're still going to get stronger. Most likely, you're not in college yet, so you haven't really been on a true strength and conditioning program. So, you've still got room to grow is what I'm getting at. So if you can go out and I would say throw anywhere over probably 86, 
um, you're at least going to stand out a little bit. Then the other thing they're going to look for when you're hitting is that pop, that power that you show. If you're out there just crushing balls, you are going to stand out. And I know this is obvious, but I'm, I'm telling you what they look for. They look for people that are fast, that can throw hard, and that can hit a ball a long way. If you can come out there and do those three things, you're going to stand out. Even if you struggle in some other areas, if you do those three, you're going to stand out and you're going to get seen because people, they, they look at your raw talent and then they, they say, well, we can coach this guy. We can teach him these other things. We can't teach someone truly to throw a ball 90 miles an hour. That's, that's not really teachable. We can increase you a little bit, but if you can come out to those showcases and already be at that level, they're like, okay, we can work with this guy. If you go out there and you're hitting and you are smoking balls and you're hitting them a long way and, you know, you hit some maybe off the end or get a little jammed or something, that's okay. They're seeing what your potential is. They're seeing, oh, man, this dude just hit one 450. I can work with that. Like, that's power. Even if it's only one ball that you do, that's shown that you can do it. They can teach you and help you work out those other kinks. And then if you're running a 60 and you're really fast, you can't, and you hear it all the time, you can't coach speed. I can help you get a little faster. I can help you get a little quicker. I can help you get a little more agile. But you can't teach someone to run like Mike Trout. You you can't. I mean, I cannot, no matter how much I train, I do not believe that I will be that fast. So that's how you stand out at a showcase, guys. And if you're a pitcher, Obviously, once you get your, uh, your, not at bats, but once you're throwing to hitters, um, if you go in there and you're really humming that thing, I would say go in there and just chunk it. Go in there and chunk it. Um, because even if you're a little bit more wild, they're seeing the raw talent. How many guys do you know that uh, are pitchers that throw really hard, but they're not very accurate? Normally, they get a lot of love from coaches, from everyone, because that's raw talent. I can teach you to work out those kinks to be able to spot up better. I can teach that. I can. It's it's very possible. If you show me the raw talent, I can work with everything else and, and bring you back down some. So that's what they look for. That's how to stand out. I would say go out there. Don't swing all the way out of your shoes, but try to hit homers. When you're throwing, try to chunk that thing. When you're running... Run like the wind. Run as fast and hard as you can. Don't go in there worried about trying to have a super great round of, you know, hitting backside and doing all those things because they want to see the raw talent. They're looking for long balls. They're looking for guys that can throw hard, and they're really looking for guys um, that are fast. So if you can show all those three and you're smooth on the infield and when you're hitting, you do work some backside, but you're driving it, or you do work it up the middle, but you're driving it hard and far, they're going to want to work with you. If you're pitching and you're pumping 90, 91, 92, but you're a little bit wild, that's okay. They can work with that. So go out there and really give it your 100% best. Go harder than you think you've ever gone before and see what happens. So y'all comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, comment. Like I said, subscribe, like my videos, tell people about it. I'm trying to help you guys because um, I went into showcases. I've done some, and I went out there and was really trying to have just a solid round and wasn't really trying to swing as hard as I could. And then I'd go out there sometimes once someone kind of told me something like this, and I really started trying to just absolutely crush it when I was taking batting practice. When I did that and I hit a few balls a very long way, I started getting some people pulling me to the side. Hey, man, what's your name? Where do you go to school at? Where do you play? You know, and start talking to you. That's what's going to catch people's eyes. Um, it's just like, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Like a, you see a, a Toyota Camry drive by you. Are you going to look twice at that? You see a Lambo go by. It's like, whoa, whoa, man, that, that got me. Same thing. They're looking for the Lambos. They're looking for the guys that can drive one 400 feet. They're looking for the guys that throw hard. So capitalize on what you're good at and really try to build on that and just go hard at these showcases so guys y'all have a great day keep working and let me know what y'all want to see